KTBZ Lake Jackson, Houston. Recently purchased by Nationwide Communications for a string of beads, some feet corn, and a handful of puka shells. This is KTBZ. It's modern rock. This is 1075 The Buzz. What the hell is this? 1075 The Buzz. Wake up, sleepyheads. It's party time! Yeah, this is the old Nooster coming at you right here on this fine, fine rock till the morning. It's the sweeping sensation that's sweeping the nation, and I'm going to do it to you right here, right now. Wow! That's the way it started on September 2nd, 1977, live from the Summit in Houston, Texas. That was KISS, and uh, that's probably the way it's going to sound next Saturday night in the Summit when the KISS reunion tour pulls into town. Hey, how's it going, guys? Jared, that's me on 107.5. What the hell is this on the buzz? Well, you know, tonight it's a tribute to KISS, and it's my pleasure to bring you this because, you know, I've waited all my life to do something like this. going to be some cool stuff like, uh, going to do some songs from KISS. Kiss songs from that other bands have done, and a brand new song from original Kiss guitarist Ace Frehley, plus a brand new song from another band that you might have heard of. A uh, little secretive about that right now. You don't want to miss anything, whatever. I suggest you get to tape in the show. Well, it's uh, 
get some things off the Kiss My Ass CD right now. Which is one of the many things that led up to this old Kiss Reunion Tour that they're out on right now. This is the Lemonheads doing their version of Plaster Caster on 107.5. What the hell is this on the buzz? this 1075 the buzz
Melvins on 107.5 The Buzz doing Going Blind from their Houdini CD. Uh, yeah. That was originally found on uh, Hotter Than Hell from Kiss. And uh, I picked that one up at uh, my friend John. He's got this record store, Diamond Head Records, and I just had to let him know that uh, I got that from him out in spring. 376-9944. If you want to call him, he can get you a lot of stuff. But uh, I've got some cool stuff here. Remember the Funk Junkies? They had a song on the Tommy Boy soundtrack and their Injected CD. They played over at BuzzFest 95, and uh, they were the opening band, and uh, they had their little profanity-laden set they did. And uh, if the kids are in the room, by the way, you might want to tell them to go get you a beer for the, for this next one. The Funk Junkies and I Love It Loud, originally on Kiss's Creatures of the Night CD. Here you go, live from BuzzFest 95 on 107.5 The Buzz. Beethoven's fifth.
replacements that are doing their version of Black Diamond. That's on their Let It Be CD on the 107.5 The Buzz. What the hell is this? Kiss special tribute type of thing. I'm Jared, and uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for this one. Uh, Nirvana does a, a tune from Kiss. And uh, 3905107, by the way, is the request number. Suggestions, requests, comments on the show, whatever. Anyways, this one, Do You Love Me from Nirvana, it's a uh, pre-Dave Grohl Nirvana. A very tongue-in-cheek version of uh, Do You Love Me. Originally on Destroyer and um, from the hard to believe compilation that was put out in the late 80s. So uh, check it out and uh, keep an open mind about this one. It's on 1075 The Buzz. Shandy's Addiction. Shandy's Addiction is made up of Maynard from Tool, a couple of guys from Rage Against the Machine, two of the guys from Faith No More, and they got together and did like a Into the Twilight Zone, one step beyond version of Calling Dr. Love. You've got to hear it to believe it. Unbelievable.
as Gene entered right before that one, the band they call Shandy's Addiction, featuring members of Rage uh, Against the Machine, Tool, and Faith No More. That's off the Kiss My Ass CD. There's a lot of bands that really couldn't appear on that tribute album for one reason or another. Nine Inch Nails being one of them who are supposed to do a an industrial kind of style version of Love Gun. And uh, this would have been uh, pretty damn cool. And there's there's been a lot of industrial bands that have supposedly done it, but I haven't been able to find too many of them. I did track this one down. It's from a tribute album from uh, Montreal called French Kissing. And uh, thanks to Mitch out in Montreal for tracking this one down for me. The band is called something like Mange Le Mange. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what the name of the song is. Uh, all you Kiss fans out there are going to be kind of kind of surprised when you hear it. It's the Kiss tribute special. What the hell is this? 107.5 uh, The Buzz.
That, of course, is a version of Baby Driver, originally found on Kiss's Rock and Roll Over, done by the French-Canadian band Mange Les Mages, or something like that. Anyways, we're going to take a little break right here. And um, I'm going to come back with a, a block of Ace Freely pen songs, including one that he recently wrote. And uh, we'll be right back on 107.5. What the hell is this? Kiss Tribute. 107.5. The Buzz. Log in. Access activities. Budweiser presents The Buzz Wednesday Night Concert Series. This Wednesday featuring Sunflower with special guest Podunk. 18 and up are welcome and 21 and up get to see the show for just a dollar and seven cents. It's the Buzz Wednesday Night Concert Series happening this Wednesday with Sunflower and Podunk. Sponsored by Budweiser Beer, Blockbuster Music, and brought to you exclusively by Houston's Modern Rock, 107.5 The Buzz. Join 107.5 The Buzz and Lipton's Brew for Spike Fest 96. This is the largest three-on-three amateur volleyball tournament. It's coming to Stewart Beach in Galveston July 13th and 14th. Competition is open to men's, women, and co-ed teams, and entry forms are available at all local health clubs, restaurants, and here at the Smoke Free Buzz Studios. For more info, call the free event hotline at 1-888-3-VOLLEY. That's 1-888-5539. Entry deadline is July 8th, so enter today. It's Spike Fest 96, July 13th and 14th, sponsored by the Houston Chronicle, Prime Sports, the Galveston Park Board, Lipton's Brew, and 107.5 The Buzz. Transmission complete. Please stand by for a continuous buzz. New Rock 107.5 The Buzz. After the first brutally humid day in Atlanta, there will be no question about who's the fastest in the world. Without dispute, it will be the Power Flow, the new squeeze bottle from Powerade. Designed, as the name suggests, this squeeze bottle really lets Powerade flow. And although the Power Flow has not been officially timed, many say they've seen no faster flow of fluids. As one sprinter put it, the flow of the Power Flow is so fast, it makes me look like a tortoise. And in the words of a hammer thrower, I admire the Power Flow's intense concentration. It's a lot like me that way. Definitely count on seeing the Power Flow at nearly every Olympic event, helping athletes quickly rehydrate, drenching their thirst, and powering their Powerade to where they need it most. And to the question, ever wonder what's inside a Power Flow? Well, before it's squeezed, you'll find Powerade. With 33% more carbos than Gatorade, it's what's on the field. Powerade, the official sports drink of the Olympic Games. Find the A, find the A, find the A. Friday, July 12th, in the Summit, the Miller Lite Concert Series presents Pantera and White Zombie, plus special guest I Hate God. Tickets on sale now at all Ticketmaster outlets or charge six two nine thirty seven hundred for Pantera and White Zombie plus special guest I Hate God. Friday, July twelfth at the Summit. Brought to you by the Miller Lite Concert Series. Life is good. With the Olympic Games almost here, Coca Cola asks Sharice how she would do in the shot put event. What do you think of that? Huh? <laughs> It's heavy. A little heavier than you thought, huh? Yeah. You know, I have a feeling you'd be much happier playing Coca-Cola Red Hot Olympic Summer. Okay. Twist the red cap off a 20-ounce bottle of ice-cold, refreshing Coca-Cola Classic to see what you want. Okay. And you have a one in three chance of scoring a brand-new Chevy Camaro. Cool. Official Olympic merchandise, the vending machine autographed by Olympians, discounts on official licensed Olympic merchandise at Foot Locker or Free Coke. Sounds good. And to play Coca-Cola Red Hot Olympic Summer, you don't even need big biceps. <laughs> always a winner, always Coca-Cola. No purchase necessary. Game ends 8 See store displays and packaging for details. Coca-Cola, Worldwide Olympic Partner. Nothing refreshes like Coca-Cola. Well, now Coca-Cola even saves you money on Coca-Cola Olympic Games clothes and gear. Buy Coca-Cola or Minute Maid products at Kmart or Super K for points that mean big savings on great-looking sweats, varsity jackets, golf shirts, and more. See details at Super K and Kmart. Receipts must be dated before August 4th. Orders for merchandise must be received by September 1st. Always stock up. Always Coca-Cola. I cannot believe we have detention. Totally, like we are not the only seniors who ever cut class. This is so unfair. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. Holloway, and we'll be hanging from 3 to 4. So you might want to do the homework you'll never get to over the weekend. Oh, my gosh. I am so starving, and Holloway has corn nuts. Corn nuts? Oh, they sound so good. Hey, I didn't know you could eat in detention. You can't. He can. Those corn nuts could crunch my out-of-control hunger pains. Excuse me, girls. Is there something you want to share with the rest of us? Uh, we would if we had some. Uh, some corn nuts. Uh, your corn nuts. Oh, with the colossal crunch. Yeah. The corn nuts that satisfy. Uh, you mean these corn nuts? Uh-huh. You girls sure? We're, We're sure. sure. All right. Here you go. Oh. Corn nuts. If something this small can be this cool, why aren't you eating them? 
<laughs> well, now remember, oh, whoa, man. whoa, you said you share. Only one bag of corn nuts? Oh, life is so unfair. Totally. What the hell is this? 1075 The Buzz. about that version of Shock Me from the Red House Painters on their Shock Me EP. 
Only made in England. You might be able to find a copy. I found one the other day, luckily, and it's on 4 AD Records if you're looking for that. Not quite very shocking, but uh, still a pretty cool thing. Staying with the Ace Freely motif here, um, coming up, we've got something from Ace's solo album, Ozone, done by the Foo Fighters. But also, right now, I've got a brand new thing from Ace. He's got a tribute CD out that is actually kind of mostly directed at uh, his songs. And uh, in the Japanese and some Canadian versions, there's actually a new track from Ace himself. I got one of these through my friend Douglas, who runs the Fraley News website on the internet. So go go check that out. Just access any KISS page and you'll get a link to his website. So here is the uh, latest thing from uh, Ace Fraley's solo project. It is uh, Take Me to the City from the Spacewalk Tribute CD 107.5, The Buzz. brother was an only child easy cat man they are serious and they've got guns this is ridiculous
What the hell is this on 107.5 The Buzz? That was the Foo Fighters doing their version of Ace Frehley's uh, Ozone, found on his solo album, pretty released in 1978. You can find it on the Foo Fighters I'll Stick Around UK single or on the Big Me US single. It's on. Uh, there's a bunch of tracks on that that uh, aren't available on uh, other CDs by them. Anyway, I've uh, been getting a lot of calls for this next one by White Zombie. They do a version of uh, God of Thunder. 3905107 is the suggestion uh, line and comment line. Let's hear what Gene has to say about the album that uh, God of Thunder came off of first, Destroyer, and uh, we'll have that White Zombie right after that. I have to say the stuff in hindsight survives over... I mean, since 76, I don't know how many years ago, but certainly D- D- Detroit Rock City and God of Thunder... And a couple of other songs survive. When we started writing material for Destroyer, we wanted to take it to another level. It's not like we didn't want to sing about screwing and partying anymore, because that's almost the only stuff we knew. But um, we wanted to include a lot of other things and, and other things we had experienced. And maybe ultimately the reason why the material stands up is because it was the cream, the creme de la creme. And yet somehow, from the violin strains of Beth to the crunch of uh, God of Thunder, it all seemed to make a statement. You wanted the best, but you got the best! The hottest band in the world! Hey, now, wait a minute. Suck on this. Oh, 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 oh.
is Kiss, each sold separately. And you can put them in any crazy pose you want. That's the name, Kiss. They may look insane. Kiss, it rocks your game, it's Kiss. Kiss, each 12 and a half inch figure sold separately by Mego. Modern Rock 107.5, The Buzz. That actually was Kiss, in case you're wondering. Strange Ways from the Hotter Than Hell CD. Peter Chris singing that, penned by Ace Frehley. And um, before, you know, Kiss is on the reunion tour right now, back with the original members. But right before they did, you know, went into this reunion thing, they uh, recorded an album with their members that were in the band, like, for the past few years, uh, Bruce Kulick and Eric Singer. And um, they recorded it, and then this reunion came up, and they decided they're just going to sit on the album for a while and maybe release it after the reunion is done. Well, much to our KISS fans' uh, surprise, the cop- a copy of the uh, CD has leaked out. And um, guess what? I'm going to play a song from it for you, if you can believe it. Uh, it's tentatively called Carnival of Souls. At least that's what we're calling it on the Internet. And um, this one is uh, called Rain. And uh, check it out, guys. KISS. 1996 version right here on the buzz.
That's what Kiss is going to sound like uh, whenever they do finally release that album. Track called Rain. Uh, what did you think about it? 3905107. Jared here on the Kiss tribute special. Got one more for you. Because you know they uh, released a new CD. You wanted the best, you got it. To uh, promote this new reunion tour thing. And um, on the. There's a. Um, what do I want to say? The unreleased track off that album, or the actual the bonus track you get when you get the vinyl, or you get it from Japan is a version of New York Groove done from Sydney, Australia. And I happened to get a copy of this because they were giving them away at a, if you pre-ordered it at Blockbuster Music. So I picked one of these up because my friend Mike got it for me. And uh, here's what that one sounds like. New York Groove from Sydney, Australia. And what the hell is this? 107.5 The Buzz. I think that's it for me because they want to kind of kick me out here pretty soon. Thanks a lot. I really enjoyed it. New York Groove on The Buzz.
what the hell is this on the buzz? That's Kiss, because we're doing a Kiss special, and I've been uh, kind of flooded with the little phone calls here to play something more off the uh, the new, brand new Kiss CD, the unreleased one. So uh, I got to give the people what they want, and then I promise I'll be out of here, Graham, okay, so you can get on the air. But uh, this is one more off the uh, Carnival of Souls bootleg thing. This one is called, what did I want, what did I put on this one? Tell Me is what I, I believe it's called. 107 by the buzz. I'm gone. I enjoyed myself. Later.
KTBZ Lake Jackson, Houston. The red-headed stepchild of nationwide communications. This is KTBZ.